So, I was supposed to have a thing on top of my head here that said femicide, and lots of it was a hand like that with a disturbing topic on each finger. But it's obviously used the wrong... It's used the mirror within the mirror thing. Anyway, Facebook. I was reading on The Verge website the other day. It's a very strange blog. I was wondering if it was paid by Facebook or not. I didn't finish it. I did not finish watching, uh, reading The Verge because I got disturbed halfway through with what my, already have my insights and knowledge through 25 years of web mastering about the internet of things and Facebook, basically, this is really serious. It's a really serious matter. So I'll start by the concluding, so that you know the point, because I always digress. Facebook newsfeed makes people mentally ill on a global scale. It's damaging mental health of humanity on a global scale. Yeah. So that's the meaning of this Facebook Live. And now I'll try and explain why. I just explained for the third time to my girlfriend who knows how to operate a website and stuff, but she doesn't understand internet as much, but she's quite okay. And even she's scratching her head, so I'll have to go slowly. But basically The Verge website published an article saying that Facebook is claiming that reading the news feed without reacting, meaning if you, when you open the app or you go to Facebook, even if you log, if you bookmark your own profile or try to go to your own profile, it will take you to the news feed first because it will ask you to log in. And uh, if you weren't logged in and you bookmark your profile and try to go straight to your profile, it will ask you to log in and then it will redirect you to the news feed. Right? Most of you know that. Or if most of you are on mobile anyway, so you will have a Facebook app and if you knew everything, you wouldn't. You would open it in a browser, Safari or Chrome or whatever. And then get a message saying, get the Facebook app, because Facebook wants you to get it. Anyway, the news feed, if you read the news feed according to Facebook, without reacting, uh, it can make you feel worse about yourself. This came after uh, social um, sciences experts and statisticians got their heads together and it, they did a lot of surveys and it came out that the Facebook newsfeed is causing people to become mentally disturbed and ill, mentally unbalanced. So Facebook took this statistic to try to, of course, douse it out, damp dampen it. And also, even, they're so audacious and so unethical, because they don't care about your mental health or mine or anybody's. They care about getting you to react on the news feed, whether it makes you mentally ill or not. Meaning like, don't like, show sad, like with tears, like with angry, like with this. And if you like with angry or tears and comment a lot and it causes a lot of other comments and arguments or agreements, that's a lot of reaction, which is what Facebook wants, is reaction. Why does it want reactions? I'll tell you why. If you try to advertise in Facebook advertising, you will see that posts that have a lot of reactions and a lot of people looking at them going viral are much more expensive to advertise on and much more attractive to advertisers to advertise on and they'll pay more to advertise. So what it's about is getting you to react, whether it makes you mentally ill or not, so that they can have more posts with lots of reactions and charge more for advertisement. And also because people are not really reacting a lot as, unless you've got caught into a closed circle of an algorithm where you commented, where you saw something disturbing like a school shooting or a murder or a gang rape or whatever, some bad news, you know, there's, you, once you see something bad on Facebook like that, 
and you stumble across it, if you comment and get your back up about it, the hairs on your neck come up and you get bothered about it, it's disturbed your mental peace, which is mental health. That is mental health. So if it's disturbed the, your peace and quiet of mind and imbalanced your heaven of peace in your mind and stillness and made you waves in your heart, that you have to react because the, Facebook is saying people who do not react and read the news feed are feeling worse about themselves afterwards. They've changed it from mental illness to feel worse about yourself. Well, listen, if you feel worse about yourself, if you ask any psychiatrist what feeling worse about yourself is, they'd say it's a form of mental illness. So it's just not admitting that, yes, Facebook newsfeed, firstly, it can make you mentally ill. Even Facebook is saying that because they're saying, if you read the newsfeed without, without reacting, it makes you feel worse about yourself. If you read without reacting, it makes you feel worse about yourself. So it makes you mentally ill. The thing is, if you think about what have you reacted to mostly, now some of you might be just reacting auspiciously. But I've seen some videos or posts that are disturbing and made, com reacted. Whereas I've seen nice posts and flicked past and enjoyed, might have pressed like or not. I just read it. Usually I'll just flick past and read. Unless I see something disturbing that bothers me that I have a very high, strong opinion about, for better or worse, and that will cause me to react. So how come the thing that disturbs me and my mental health is the posts I react on and comment on? That's a reaction in Facebook's eyes. And I'm reacting because I'm mentally disturbed about it. But Facebook is saying, and they took a load of 100 people in Michigan, I believe it was, and sat them down and paid them to scroll through, read Facebook newsfeed, and forbade them to react, meaning forbid them to comment or like. Just read it. Not allowed to react. And here's where the trick from Facebook came. So that when they'd finished the survey, they could say that, from 100 people who read Facebook newsfeed for 10 minutes without reacting, felt worse about themselves afterwards. But Facebook forbade them to react. Because if they hadn't, just said, look, read for 10 minutes, react if you want or don't react if you don't want to, then the statistic would not have been Forbidden to react, read for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, it turns out that 80% of those readers felt worse about themselves. They didn't feel worse about themselves because they didn't react, because they were forbidden to react. Yeah? The things that they saw on the newsfeed that made them feel worse about themselves were things that they would have reacted to. Because mostly the things you react to are the disturbing things. Yeah? So actually... Going through Facebook newsfeed, you will see disturbing things to make, to, things to disturb you to make you react. Because the Facebook algorithm will see that you have reacted to these negative things like, oh, that's terrible, a school shooting and six children killed, or six children were shot and two of them died. And uh, the kid, the 16 year old kid who did the shooting, shot himself dead afterwards as well. That was the last disturbing thing I saw on Facebook, yeah? Yesterday, I believe it was. Because when I opened the app, it goes to newsfeed. I always tap on my profile, keep tapping, and try to look at the ceiling so that I don't look at the newsfeed. Because I know if I do, and the first thing I see is something that really pisses me off. And that's the first thing they're going to show, because they already know what it pisses me off from how I've reacted in the past. So by forbidding the people in the survey to react, they could get no accurate result from saying people who read without react, people who read the newsfeed feel worse about themselves after 10 minutes of reading it. Hmm? 
because they've forbidden the people in the survey to react. So they couldn't see, so that the statistic would look clean. And it's still bad for Facebook for me to say that, well, react or not react, that just shows how dangerous the Facebook newsfeed can be. That firstly, independent statisticians and social, um, social, um, what would you call that? Social science, social scientists. You have social anthropology, you have um, internet health. You have a lot of sciences these days. I don't want to name them all. It's a long list of all related sciences, but it's all to do with our social and mental health and welfare of our social uh, human society, right? The social sciences. Um, social scientists and statisticians come up with a very high percent of people who were worsening and getting mentally ill in one way or another, losing their friends, staying in, becoming a hermit, or getting depressed, um, rants on Facebook. I just did a rant earlier on a Facebook Live about the Karma Lama tweeting that he was doing a live streaming meditating under the Bodhi tree in India, which is ridiculous marketing for a supposed uh, enlightened Bodhisattva. Anyway, um, for example, yeah, they know that kind of thing pisses me off. So that got me going. And the Twitter knows that, so that's why they sent me that. Try, try, to try to get me to go react and comment on Twitter, but instead I did a Facebook Live about it. And uh, the Facebook news feed I avoid because every time I do go there to check if it's true or not, because I do sometimes, I get lost for three or four hours posting and sharing and uh, going on a full campaign to try and expose or really, you know, really pissed off about what, what I saw. So actually, Facebook algorithm deliberately tries to force feed you like a goose, you know, like you feed a goose, with information, yeah, that will cause you to react. Um, how true is this? Well, it depends on your mental health, how long you've been using Facebook, if you're addicted to the news feed, if you're a very placid person that just scrolls and reads, like my girlfriend, she never comments. And she's actually better than... I was a monk living in the cave, but she goes, she can scroll through all those horrible things and laugh at them and won't comment. She doesn't want to comment. She just completely stays separate. So it doesn't really damage her that much, apart from the fact that she's become addicted to watching senseless videos and gets only half the work done in the day. So it's damaging her work, but not her mental health. So you guys who are watching... I would say, ask yourselves what, if what I'm saying is true. If, if you personally, when you go to the news feed, if you notice that, firstly, that there are things there that, of course, everything you're shown is based on what you've reacted to, what you've liked, what you've commented on, what made you angry, your friends who you liked. If I like a certain person's post twice and I message with them, all of a sudden, I'll be seeing their updates, which I haven't seen for three years because I didn't message them for three years. Yeah? But as soon as you tag someone, or you message someone, or you like one of their posts, then you'll start seeing their updates. So if you want a good news feed, you have to teach the algorithm manually by only liking the things that make you happy and never commenting on the things that piss you off which I don't. I do comment on the things that piss me off. And so when I go to the news feed, what I see is a load of things that piss me off, right? And that happens with a lot of people, you know? Like you might see something about pic the fake picture of, like, families with dead lions, lion hunters and stuff, or, you know, ivory trade or whatever, you know, uh, human rights or children, child abuse or just something terrible, you know, or just a video that some people think is funny, but which you find is actually very sad, like these uh, falls videos of people hurting themselves. I just go, Ooh, oh, poor little baby on a tricycle drives into the sidewalk, the bicycle flips over, and the two-year-old baby or one-and-a-half-year-old baby falls flat on its face, forehead on the sidewalk, could have cracked it open and died. And it's in a funny video. I'm looking at it and thinking, what's funny about that? Why do people laugh? at a baby falling over and hitting its head on the sidewalk, for God's sake. It could have a concussion and break its skull or die. 
But people like to look at that, believe me, because they're already mentally ill. That's mental illness. It's evil, in fact, in my eyes. It really pisses me off. So that's all I see if I go to the newsfeed, stuff to piss me off. And um, as I said, statisticians have concluded, along with social scientists, and I've concluded anyway, which is why I press on my profile, bing, 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 when I open the app. And every time I switch apps and go back to the Facebook app, where I was on my profile, my profile's disappeared, and the news feed loads again automatically, because they're deliberately trying to redirect you back there and to engage you. It's called engaging you in calls to action. I'm a webmaster, that's what you call it. Engage the end user, the consumer of the information, the reader, into a call to action, yeah? And the action might be to comment, like with an angry face or tears, yeah? Or to share it and talk about it. Or to... My way is to do a Facebook Live because they don't know then that I'm reacting to something I saw on the newsfeed. Because if Facebook knows I'm reacting, if I comment on it or share it or like, like it with an angry face or something... It's going to find more of similar content to feed to me like a goose and destroy my mental health through react uh, because it knows that the things that disturb me or you will cause you to react. So how can Facebook say, I conclude now, how can Facebook say that reading the news feed without, without reacting causes people to feel worse about themselves, meaning lose your mental health, damages your mental health. Because actually, if you don't react, your mental health is better. It's if you do react that your mental health is being damaged. And Facebook is saying the opposite. Yeah, The independent statistician said that the Facebook newsfeed is damaging people's mental health and making them feel worse about themselves, being depressed get depression mm -hmm. and Facebook took that truth that the news feed can potentially cause depression because it depends on the strength of the mind of the person how involved you get and how much detachment you have or obeka equanimity enough detachment if you can do that hats off to you well done if you can't and you have been disturbed, then you will know what I'm talking about if you look at your own experience of the newsfeed. Of course, I just, I just opened the newsfeed and finally saw something nice from Sujato Biko. He's in Chiang Mai and he posted some photo. He's a monk in, and he's in Chiang Mai, currently on his way to go to Bangkok, and he posted some photos of a temple. And I liked those to increase the algorithm and also because I like them. Wow, it's like a picture in one part of the temple full of Rusi. And the other part of the temple was um, he was stood in front of Hanuman. And Sujato Bhikkhu is also kind of a Rusi as well. Apart from being a Bhikkhu, he's, he, he, if he wasn't a Bhikkhu, then he, you would have to say he's a Rusi. So, you know. And the Buddha was a Rusi. Anyway, so that was nice. But it was one in a million things I see on the news feed. So I think, I think most of you... Uh, will um, we'll, uh, know what I'm talking about. We'll have at least once or twice been disturbed by things that you have um, seen on Facebook newsfeed. And um, I've been on a rant for about two days because when I read the Verge article, I just thought this is really disgusting because actually... Facebook is using its algorithm to get more reactions, knowing, knowing that it is damaging mental health of humanity on a global scale through what it force feeds its users on the newsfeed. And in addition, knowing that it is the posts which cause reactions that they can get more advertising money on, which are the ones which cause the mental health damage, yeah, the disturbance to your mental peace, your peace of mind, which is mental illness. It's, a for, it's damaging your mental health, your mental welfare. They know that. 
and they have the audacity to come out with their own blog post after those statisticians proved that the, the newsfeed is, is damaging a lot of people's mental health to say that make their own little experiment forbidding people to react so that we don't see that it is the reaction the posts we react to which are the disturbing ones they forbid 100 people in Michigan 100 students in Michigan to react and order them to pay them to read the newsfeed for 10 minutes so they can say they don't 80% of them say they feel worse about life they 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 feel depressed afterwards 10 minutes only huh? but the thing is forbidding them to react prevents the Facebook statistic from revealing that actually the bits of the newsfeed during those 10 minutes which caused the mental disturbance and the depression to come afterwards were the posts which they would have reacted to if they hadn't been forbidden and say that reading the newsfeed without reacting can damage your mental health, can make you feel worse about yourself. That's how they say damage your mental health. So they don't want to say damage your mental health. They don't want to admit. Facebook doesn't want to say the words. Reading the news feed without reacting can damage your mental health. They prefer to say, reading the news feed without reacting can make you feel worse about yourself. Well, that's just the same. If you feel worse about yourself, then you're suffering a mental issue. It's damaged your mental health. It's just a, a way of roundabout talking without saying it directly. I call a spade a spade. They say, well, that, it's just the same. It's damaging your mental health. And um, the reason is, is that they're trying to say that if you do react, then it's safe. You can read the news feed. If, so long as you react on the news feed, it won't damage your mental health. But if you don't react, it could make you suffer depression. Facebook themselves are saying that. So they're admitting their news feed is potentially a tool for depression. It can potentially become the cause of depression, mental depression in humans. And the medicine they tell you is to react, to comment, like, share. Or do you think they're telling you that they're doing that because it's good for your mental health? or because it's going to increase their advertising, the cost of their advertising space. On the ads that they serve in the sidebar next to the post, or if you're on an iPhone or an Android phone, then it will be between the posts. As you scroll down the post between each post, you'll see a little advert. Udemyacademy.com or something. Learn how, whatever it was, if you were into cooking, it was a learn how to cook on Udemy. They know I'm into data science. So take a data scientist course. So why should I? I'm already a data science fucking consultant. For free, but I do con give consultancy to companies, big companies. They take my consultancy. I give it for free because I like to talk about it. I make money with my ebooks and some amulets and some other things. Google ads on my YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I'd rather just uh, give the free consultancy. Also, I'm not qualified in the meaning I've been to university and I've got a consultant's license. No, I've just been 25 years in the business and I understand the internet very, very well. And so Facebook is damaging our mental health with the newsfeed and I'd like to warn everybody about that, that when you open the app, keep tapping on your profile icon and then decide who you want to visit to see their profile and check up on the latest news from the people you want to hear from. Don't just be force fed on the newsfeed because it will and it has already damaged your mental health and mine and not because you don't react because if you are reacting usually at least half of the time it's because something's pissed you off. So there you go. Facebook are a bunch of deceivers. They know that reactions are related to people whose mental health is being disturbed from the newsfeed. And they're trying to promote more reaction on the newsfeed, which means at the cost of global mental health of humanity, they want to increase the price of their advertising space on the content that they feed to us like geese. 
knowing that it's going to destroy the men human mental health even more. Just and, and trying to defend themselves from the fact that independent statisticians have found out that the Facebook newsfeed is damaging to mental health. And it is. If you don't believe me, you keep scrolling. But when you do, look at yourself and see if it causes you any suffering or not. A Judge Spencer with another weird Facebook Live. It's nothing to do with amulets, but it's very important to me because men human welfare and mental health is very important. There's no point in learning Dharma, practicing Buddhism, trying to become enlightened, learn meditation, if you're scrolling down the Facebook news feed and damaging your mental health in the process. Because any uh, advancement you will make in the Dhamma, and me, yeah, is being destroyed by such things. So please, avoid the Facebook news feed and don't react unless it's your friends and don't let any of these videos or news articles or anything um, make your heart shake, make the wind blow inside your emotions, cause a storm of emotion so that you react. Don't fall for it. Just tap on your own profile and go there. Go into Messenger, talk with your friends and then click on look, see their profile and look at their updates on their own profile page and comment there. But don't go to the news feed. Stay away from it, guys. And don't react just because they want... Don't be fooled. Don't let them manipulate you. Don't let Facebook manipulate you. And don't let them force feed you stuff that's going to disturb your mental health. Because they're going to send the world crazy if they haven't done already. Hmm. The amount we spend here compared to the amount we spend going to find our friends out the door, go out the door and go to see a friend, has taken over. So let's take our sanity back and let's ignore the Facebook news feed. Ajahn Spencer, trying to help people to understand what is being done to them, because it's evil, signing off.